God for being a way maker. Thank God for being a heart fixer, a mind regulator, a provider. Everything that we need is in him. We give him the glory. We give him the honor. We give him the praise because we were created to worship him. Do I have any worshipers out there today that can just lift your hands and give God a praise? That can lift your hands and speak well of him? We give him glory. Nobody like you, Jesus. Miracle work, miracle work, promise keeper, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Light in the dark. 
has done for you. Only you got your testimony. Only you can tell your testimony. Only you can tell your testimony. Tell them how God's been great, how awesome he is, how amazing he is, how wonderful he is. Every time we wake up, we see new mercies. God, I thank you for new mercies. Anybody grateful for new mercies? Greetings in the precious name of Jesus. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. He's doing wonderful things and is marvelous in our eyes. It's a wonderful thing for us to gather together on this Sunday morning to, to gather your family in your living rooms or wherever you are watching this uh, streaming service. We want to let you know that we are praying for you. Keep hope alive. We're praying for you. There is a word from the Lord on today. And if you would turn your Bibles with us to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. And we'd like to begin our reading with the eighth verse. And it reads, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroy. And it's from these passages of scripture I want to use for thought on today. It ain't over. The best is yet to come. I need you to look at a family member, or hold a hand, or your, your wife or whoever you're next to, your children, your family and say, it ain't over. The best is yet to come. And knowing that it's not over, that means there's still more to come. While we may not know all the things that unfold in life and the things that we're going to be faced with, the joy is in knowing that with all that we are faced with, God is with us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. He's always with us. It's in this chapter that the Apostle Paul gives us some needed insight into the problems we face and how we should handle them. After all, if we don't handle our problems, our problems will surely handle us. Can I get a witness out there? Problems and troubles are worries or unpleasant inconveniences are things that just seem to happen. Trouble brings on pressure and pressure, it, it makes things hard. It makes you get to a point where it's hard to make rational decisions. Then comes perplexities, which brings on the pressures. Pressures bring on the perplexities of life. It was Job that told us that a man is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Regardless of what age that you are, uh, you will experience difficulties. You will experience perplexities. You will experience trouble. And think about trouble. You don't have to find trouble. Trouble will find you. It knows where you live. It knows your address. It knows how to get to you. I don't care if your house is crowded. It will find a spot and squeeze itself in to that place and try to make itself at home. But guess what? God is with us. He'll never leave us. Tell the person next to you that it ain't over. It ain't over. The best is yet to come. But it'll get sometimes to the point where it will cause you to call on the help that you know. And that help is Jesus. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. But Lord, I'm calling on you because I need some help. Matter of fact, somebody just shout, help, 
help, Lord, I need your help on today. Can I get a witness that somebody needs some help? You ought to open up your mouth and say, Lord, help, Lord, help, Lord. You can uh, be in a state where things seem like it's going well and all of a sudden it seems like the bottom falls out when trouble comes and when it comes it can just come unexpected it comes in the way of tragedy it comes in the way of sickness it comes in a way as we know it as COVID-19 comes as viruses it comes as uh, the loss of jobs it comes in a way of sometimes death it comes in just sudden destruction sudden disaster everywhere but I'm here to let you know even though it may come in many forms that the Lord is with us and is not over but when it shows up at your house you've got to learn how to speak to your situation and say Lord I know you've got this Lord I know it's in your hands that's when you grab hold to faith and keep on keeping on tell yourself it ain't over Tell yourself again, it's not over. Uh, it, it, it was by faith that Paul, he persevered. He went on regardless of what was happening. It was by faith that the Lord allowed him to continue to move on and move steadfast in his mission and the ministry in which he had. The Lord blessed him mightily. It was because of faith uh, he hoped for something better. How many out there is hoping and looking for something better and knowing that better is on its way? You got to have hope. Hope is the component of faith. Hope is that settled confidence that looks to the future. Tell somebody, I have a great future and it's looking good. Knowing that God is with you and knowing that God is your helper, he's your leader and your guider, you've got to know that God is in control. You've got to have patience. Patience is the ability to endure present hardship because you have hope in the future and hope for the future. Tell somebody, I feel my future is looking bright because it ain't over. The best is yet to come. But guess what? Tough times in life can come often and it will come uninvited and it will cause sometimes where to breathe a sense of frustration and impatience and you've got to get to the place where you trust God enough that you will trust him to, to know that he's got it in control where you're putting it in his hands and you know that God has the situation. Here is the frailty of man in this earthen vessel. We have this treasure that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. That God will get the glory out of my story. How many know that whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to let God to get the glory out of your story? How many know that in 2 Corinthians, here Paul took the time to tell us some things that he had went through, <coughs> that he went through in life, and some of the things that had happened to him during his tenure. I want to name a few. Paul said, I've been jailed many times and I want to remember. And I was beaten up many times that I can count. And I, I've been beaten five times by the Jews and 39 lashes on my body. I was beaten by the Romans and uh, three times with the rod. And I was stoned with rocks. I've been shipwrecked three times uh, and I was immersed in the open sea for a night and a day. Paul said, my traveling has been hard year after year. He said, I crossed deep rivers. I, I had to fight off robbers. I, I struggled with my friends and my foes. Uh, listen, uh, did you hear what he said? He struggled with his friends and his foes. Uh, I began to look and I was in danger in cities. I, not only just in cities, Paul said I was in danger in the country. I, I, I began to be very hot in the desert. I, in the desert sun, it was burning and scorching my skin. And not only that, I was in stormy scenes, seas. I, have you ever been in stormy situations? Uh, but guess what God will get you out of it. Paul said, I've been betrayed by those I thought were my brothers and my friends. Uh, have you ever been betrayed by someone that's close to you? Paul said, I've experienced that. Uh, the word here said, uh, I had uh, uh, to miss 
many meals. And you know what? He missed many meals. A lot of times you're fasting, but sometimes you're not fasting because nothing's available. He missed many meals. Paul said, I've been blasted by the cold and sometimes naked in the weather. In other words, I was out there with no clothes, not what I needed to survive, but the Lord allowed me to get through it. Tell somebody, you're going to get through this because uh, you're coming out on the other side. And Paul said, daily, I felt the pressures and the anxieties of all the churches that I was responsible for, and I was trying to help them send them letters and give them directions and instruction to hold on and let them know what to do and what not to do. Uh, but I found myself at the end of the rope, and you know what? He could have easily gave up, but Paul kept on pushing. Uh, tell somebody, you got to keep on pushing. For well, here, uh, Paul said, I remember the time I was in uh, Damascus and the governor posted guards at the city outside of the gates uh, and uh, to arrest me, uh, to keep me from coming in. Uh, and I remember I crawled through uh, a window uh, of a wall one time uh, and I was let down uh, in a basket uh, by the end of the rope uh, and I had to run for my life. Uh, I know we've experienced a lot of things, uh, but some of us have not experienced some things uh, to the weight of this. Uh, maybe you've had your test and trials. Uh, maybe you've had your ups, risings, and your down sitting. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, uh, you can't give up. Uh, you can't give in. Uh, for it's not over. Uh, for the best uh, is yet to come. Uh, but Paul said, yet and still, uh, I was determined uh, to keep on uh, the press uh, toward the mark uh, of the prize uh, of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Uh, you got to be determined ha, that nothing will separate you ha, from the love of God. Ha, can I get a witness out there? Ha, you ought to say it ha, out of your mouth because it's out of your mouth ha, that you speak your victory. Ha, you got to say ha, that death in life ha, is in the power of ha, the tongue. Ha, I shall live ha, and not die. Ha, you got to tell somebody uh, right next to you. Uh, encourage them right now. Uh, tell them it ain't over. Uh, the best uh, is yet uh, to come. Uh, have you ever uh, have you ever been to a place uh, where you felt like uh, you was about to throw in the towel? Uh, but Ha, you wanted to continue ha, and you feel like ha, that you are all alone ha, but the Lord ha, was with you ha, and it seemed like the odds ha, were stacked against you ha, but the Bible said ha, if God be for us ha, who can be against us ha, and how many know ha, what the word of God tells us ha, in Romans 8.28 and we know that all things uh, work together uh, for good uh, to them uh, that love God, uh, to them uh, who are the call uh, according to his purpose. Uh, I just stopped by today uh, just to tell you uh, it ain't over. Uh, get it in your spirit. Uh, get it in your psyche. Uh, you got to know it uh, all the way from the bottom of the soles of your feet uh, to the crown of your head. Uh, it ain't over. Uh, God has uh, the final saying. Uh, God uh, takes the impossibilities uh, and he works uh, miraculous miracles. Uh, won't he do it? Uh, I wish I had a witness out there. Uh, but I'll tell you uh, he'll never uh, let you down uh, just to know uh, that he is with you uh, in the midst of your trial. So just to know uh, that he is with you uh, in the midst of your tribulation. Uh, don't get it twisted. Uh, you might be crushed, uh, but you're not cast down. Uh, you might be to the place, uh, but guess what? Uh, you're not destroyed. Uh, it's only by the grace of God. Uh, I'll say it again. Uh, if it wasn't for the grace, uh, uh, if it wasn't for the grace of God, we would not be here 
here today. Matter of fact, put your hands on yourself and say, I'm still here by the grace of God. There's nothing like the grace of God. Grace, God's unmerited favor that he pours on us. He doesn't have to do it, but I don't know about you, but I'm so glad, so glad he did, for I know it's not no doings of my own, for the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but to the one that endure it to the end. Tell somebody, don't quit, it ain't over. You got to hang in there, even when it feels like you've been drained and it seems like you can't go another further. You got to ask the Lord to send you some help. Ask the Lord to send you a refreshing. Ask the Lord to give you a double portion. Tell the Lord, I need to be renewed. I need to be revived. You got to know rough times will come. But you got to remember what God's word says. It says, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice. Can I get you for a moment to just rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Tell yourself it ain't over. Tell yourself again it ain't Oh no, it ain't over. It doesn't matter what comes against you. For the Bible says, no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. You've got to reach back and do what I call a total to recall huh? and what that is huh? go back when huh? you can remember huh? what you know him as huh? I know him as huh? a way maker <laughs> come on recall with me huh? I know him as huh? a healer huh? I want to do you know huh? him as a provider huh? I know him as huh? I know him as a strong deliverer huh? how many know him as a strong deliverer huh? I know him as huh? light huh? in darkness huh? I know him as huh? salvation huh? I know him as huh? my peace huh? therefore huh? I take the notice huh? and I know huh? I'm taking his word huh? and I'm preaching it to you huh? but guess what the word of God has to be delivered uh, to the messenger first. Uh, and I took a time uh, to read uh, what it said. Uh, and I'm encouraging myself uh, as I encourage you on today. Uh, it ain't over. Uh, Philippians 1 and 6 uh, tells us uh, being confident uh, of this very thing uh, that he which had begun uh, a good work in you uh, will perform it huh, until the day huh, of Jesus Christ. Huh. Tell somebody huh, he's going to perform it. Huh. He's going to perform it. Huh. Satan is trying huh, to get you huh, to a kin 10 count. Huh. What he's trying to do. Huh. He's trying to knock you out. Huh. I know. Huh. I feel it. Because huh. some of you right now huh, while you're in Ha, this quarantine moment ha, you can be to the place ha, where you can get more strength ha, and get more power ha, or you can allow the enemy ha, to just feed into your spirit ha, but I'm here today to tell you ha, don't let the enemy ha, count you out ha, let the word of God ha, 
pump uh, is spiritual IV uh, on the inside of you uh, that way he'll fortify you uh, with the spirit uh, which is his word uh, for God said uh, in the word of God uh, God is uh, spirit uh, and God is a spirit uh, and they that worship him uh, must worship him uh, in spirit uh, and in truth uh, so you got to tell Trump Ha! <laughs> you got to get behind me ha, and when the devil thinks ha, that it's over ha, it's not over ha, you just getting to a point ha, when it counted all the way down ha, to eight ha, and when it got to nine ha, he was about to wave his hands ha, and count you out ha, but here you come ha, rising up in strength ha, rising up in hope ha, rising up in victory ha, you're ready ha, for the next round. Ha. Can I get you ha, just for a moment? Ha, wherever you are, ha, throw your hands up ha, and say, I'm in it ha, to win it. Ha, Cause it ain't over. Ha. It ain't over. No, 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 no. Ha. It ain't over. Ha. Matter of fact, ha, for the next 10 seconds, ha, go ahead and take you a praise break. Ha. Run around your living room. Ha. Shout if you have to. Ha. Tell somebody, ha, I've got ha, a revelation ha, and what it is. Ha. God just told me ha, it's time ha, for another chapter. Ha. He's flipping ha, the script ha, and what it's going to do. Ha, this thing right now, ha, this quarantine ha, has allowed me ha, not to get locked a days ago, ha, but instead ha, I have gone into ha, my secret closet. Ha, I've talked to the Lord ha, and what he told me, ha, the best ha, is yet to come ha, for the latter shall be greater. Ha. Your ladder ha, shall be greater. Ha. Don't wait ha, to come back into the house of the Lord ha, to get your praise on. Ha. Don't wait ha, to come back into the ground ha, to get your shout on. Ha. Tell the enemy ha, I'm going to praise him. Ha. I'm going to praise him. Ha just where I am ha, right here and now ha. matter of fact ha, this next praise ha, I'm going to give it ha, for my family ha. this next praise ha, is a praise of victory ha, for the ones you healed ha. this next praise ha, is for the ones ha, that are struggling ha. but Lord ha, the Bible says ha, you give power ha, to the faint ha, and them that have no might, ha, you increase the strength. Ha. Come on, ha. come on, ha. and lift him up ha. and give him praise ha. for God. Ha. He's with you. Ha. It ain't over. Ha. The best ha, is yet to come. Ha. And you might be in, ha, but you won't break. Ha. You might be crushed, ha, but you will not be broken. Ha. There will be joy. Ha. There will be victory ha. after this. Ha. Come on and put a praise on it. Ha. If you believe it, ha. come on and praise him. Ha. Where my worshipers at? Where the real worshipers at? You ought to throw your hands up and tell them thank you. Lord, I love you. I give you praise and I give you glory. What the enemy thought, he counted you out. Tell him I'm stronger. <laughs> I'm wiser. I'm better. And I'm coming back with the victory. Tell somebody I got the V. <laughs> I-C-T-O-R-Y I got the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y Shout victory <laughs> And that victory is in Jesus Hallelujah Get ready for your new chapter Get ready Because it ain't over For the best is yet to come Maybe there's somebody out there Want to experience the power 
of the Holy Ghost. Somebody want to experience the baptism in Jesus' name. Maybe there's somebody out there that need prayer. The number is on the screen right now. And all you've got to do is text, I'm ready, to this number. We will have someone get in touch with you. They'll be glad to pray with you. Not only will they pray with you, if you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost, you want to experience the infilling of the power of the Holy Ghost, they will pray with you over the phone. And when the first opportunity comes for the baptism, we will open up the doors when it's time to come in. And we will take you down in the one only precious name, the only soul-saving name, the only name that's given under heaven whereby men can be saved. And that's in the name of Jesus. Come on. If you're here right now, go ahead. Text it right now. They're waiting for you. And as we get ready to pray for you, Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Tell us, Lord, you never leave us nor forsake us. And we're standing on that right now. And Lord, even in this quarantine time, you allowed us to be in a secret place. And Lord, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And Lord, we're under your shadow. Lord, we're under your protection. Lord, you're blessing us right now. Somebody's struggling right now, Lord. We ask you, Lord Jesus, give them the help that they need. Let them know that you're there and all they have to do is cast their cares on you. For you care for them. And Lord, we love you. We lift you up. We give you praise. We give you glory. Lord, I feel a shout in the spirit right now. Because this thing is about to be over. But we're going to not sit and wait for it to be over. We're going to keep living in for you. We're going to keep praising you. We're going to keep worshiping you. Be encouraged that it ain't over. The best is yet to come. And we pray these wonderful presents in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We hope something was said to you today that will bless you and take you to another level. And when your first opportunity comes, and when they open up the doors, we love to see you here at the temple. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name where we're reaching people with the life-changing message of Jesus Christ and encouraging them with love and hope. Have a wonderful day.
Now, I need y'all to help us out. This is our last song, but I need y'all to stay with us, all right? Come on, choir. How majestic.